Many of you are familiar with what free soloing is already, but for those new to the channel, free solo climbing is the climbing of rocks without any safety equipment such as ropes. Free soloers typically only use their climbing shoes and climbing chalk, making it the most dangerous form of climbing. We already featured several free solo climbers in a couple of earlier videos. As such, we will focus on some names that have not been mentioned as heavily here on the channel. We hope you enjoy this newer list and let the palm sweat begin. Our first climb on this list was completed by a well-known American free soloer, Dean Potter. In 2006, he embarked on a shocking free solo ascent of heaven on the Glacier Point Apron in Yosemite National Park. The very slanted route graded in difficulty at around 512D or 513A demands incredible technical skill and nerve. Towering over 3,000 feet, Potter's ascent captivated cameramen as he flawlessly maneuvered the granite walls, defying gravity with every calculated move with zero safety equipment. Alex Honnold also took to the route in 2011 and noted how fatal a wrong move would have been on the climb, quote, bouncing all the way to the bottom of the valley floor if you fell past the midway point of the climb. When at the top, we can see why the route gets its name of heaven based on the incredible view. The next free solo goes to French climber Catherine Destivel. Catherine is known for various mountaineering and rock climbing achievements, especially for routes she conquered throughout the 90s. During a 1992 tour in the United States, she completed a free solo ascent of El Matador on the Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Initially, she was rope soloing, but untied midway up in a daring change of heart. This route is rated at a 510D or 6B plus and goes up 75 meters. So again, no room for slipping up here. Catherine has commented that she always feels she has a big safety margin when free soloing and that she would not go if she felt afraid in any way. However, for most of us, we can see the inherent risk in her solos judging by the intense palm sweat inducing drop-offs below. Either way, Catherine has planted herself as one of the most influential free soloers and climbers in general. Next is by Michael Reardon, an American climbing prodigy who etched his name in the records of free solo climbing with many of his gripping ascents. The one in particular we will mention today is a solo climb of Romantic Warrior on the California Needles in 2005. The California Needles are a group of granite spheres in the Southern Sierra. Usually, Romantic Warrior takes at least half a day to climb for climbers with ropes and safety gear. However, Michael made his way up the 1,000 foot or just over 300 meter climb in just under two hours. This impressive feat was recognized by National Geographic Adventure in their Adventures of the Year edition. The following climb is by one of the free solo pioneers, John Backer. John was raised in Los Angeles and briefly attended UCLA before quitting to devote all of his time to climbing. He began taking to California's national parks, which offered many exhilarating routes to scale. John Backer completed his first free solo in the early 70s in Joshua Tree National Park, which was called the Double Cross Route at a 5-7 difficulty rating, which was relatively easy for an experienced climber like him. From there, he was hooked and moved on to some big walls in Yosemite. The climb that shocked many was his unroped ascent of the 450 foot or 137 meter Nabisco wall in 1979, a three pitch route rated 510 and 511 in difficulty. It features some of the hardest crack climbing in the world, notably on the section called Butter Balls at 511C. He said he meditated on it for 10 minutes beforehand and then just went for it. This climb hailed him as the king of climbing for a long time. Whether or not people still consider him to hold that title, he is still known as a pioneer of the free solo style in climbing. Our next thrilling free solo expedition has been much past due to include on these lists. It features the incredible Canadian climber Marc-Andre Leclerc. Known for his audacious mountaineering and free solo endeavours, Marc-Andre embarked on a mesmerising ascent of the corkscrew on Cerro Torre in the Patagonian mountains. This daring free solo took place on February 21st, 2015 and was said by Argentinian climber Rolando Garibotti to have been by far the hardest route ever soloed on Cerro Torre. The difficulty was in part owed to the wet and icy conditions that Marc Andre had to work with on the way up, as well as the incredible height of 4,000 feet that the route stands at. He was only 22 years old at the time he made this achievement. 
Only six other solos had been completed on the mountain itself, but Marc Andre's was the first on the corkscrew route. Sadly, Marc Andre passed away in March 2018, likely due to an avalanche on the north face of the Mendenhall Towers in Alaska. His legacy in conquering some of the most challenging free solo routes out there remains firmly placed in free soloing history. If you enjoy learning stories about those who live their life in the world of extreme sports, please subscribe as we will have more free soloing content coming up. That'll be it for today and we will see you on the next one.